what she's getting and what she's seeing with her vision. She's confused with it to the fact that it's frustrating to me because she, the other day, she uses the monocular, so she uses it on her eye. And so she has it up against her eye. Well, there's nothing out here. There's one pinpoint of vision within that monocular. Well, Grace walked by her, and she saw a, something move out to the side. And she's like, I, I think maybe I saw something move. You think? <laughs> you know, you did or you didn't. Well, she's, she, she feels a little confused about it. But if you don't know what anybody else does and you've never known, there's no way to make anyone understand what a field of vision is if they don't have it. So she sees this moving out. Well, maybe it was a mistake. No, it's not a mistake. You know, you have to be in touch with what's going on around you. When we first came, they tested my eyes and they, I could see the first symbol on the chart. Um, and the symbol, they, I could see this first symbol on the chart and it's, it's a symbol E and they would ask me if it's pointed left, right, up or down and I could identify it four or five times in a row correctly at 130 centimeters. And um, then they, they've tested me at different points through the past five weeks. They tested it last Friday and I could see it at 210 centimeters. So that's almost doubled. Um, so that, that's a significant change. The first thing I saw was the nystagma when she after she had two treatments, we were sitting in the room, we were talking like you and I are, and I looked at her and she looked at me with both of her eyes. I was like, oh my gosh, that's huge. And she goes, what? <laughs> because when you're used to seeing, you know, the, the white of the eyeball, especially on one side, and then both eyes come in with color, it was very exciting. So I took pictures of her. She thought I was being silly. I took pictures of her, and she wouldn't put it on their blog that goes out to all the ONH patients, but I emailed it to all of our family at home, the picture, so they could see it. Because pictures of her, it's always been very difficult to get a picture of her when her eyes are straight at all, and she's always been self-conscious of it because people don't hesitate to point it out to you. One lady come up to me in a store one day and said, you need to do something for your daughter. You need, do you realize she's cross-eyed? Oh, you think? <laughs> so, you know, people don't hesitate. To, and the little kid hears that, you know, and it's, they grow up with that. And so they decide, you must look like a freak. But the nystagmus, the, the bouncing of the eyes, and um, my right eye especially would roll off by itself um, because it, it just had a little light perception. Um, but with the eyes becoming calmer and more focused, I feel like that, that alone improves vision because I can focus better. In my daily routine, the, notice, the changes have been, um, when, when we first came, we brought a laptop, and when we first came, there were some icons on the computer that I couldn't read. I couldn't read what they were. And now I can easily read what they are. We played cards a lot while we were here just to make the time go by. And we used playing cards, you know, that we brought from the States. <laughs> and before, um, if the cards were on the table, a lot of times I couldn't even tell if they were red or black. But I certainly could not tell what suit they were, if they were clubs, spades, diamonds, or hearts. And um, now I can easily tell what suit they are. And it is cool. It is. Um, I said to my mom, are you sure these cards are the same as the ones at home? <laughs> because it seems like everyone should see them differently, you know, that they really, um, the little symbols just look like maybe they've grown or popped or something. They just look different. And that's, that's very cool. It was pretty exciting because we played gin and uh, so you discard. Well, every time I would discard, I have always said what I was discarding so she would know what was there. and and tell her whatever cards were. So now I make her tell me what the cards are that I'm laying down. 
And it was, it was very exciting because she was like, I think I can see those cards and the colors and know what the suit was. She can't see the numbers on the cards, but uh, she can, she's very fast to identify the pattern so she knows what the pattern follows so she can tell the number of the card and what it is. We were eating watermelon and I dropped a watermelon seed on the floor and I could easily reach down and pick it up. So my mom wanted to throw all the watermelon seeds on the floor, but I told her no way. When the watermelon seed fell on the floor and she reached down and picked up the watermelon seed, before I would have been sitting there saying left, right, left, right, and she would have been like this with her hand to find the watermelon seed. She dropped it, she, and it went out in front of her. She reached out right on top of it and picked it up. Because I've dropped a pill on the floor when I had little toddlers crawling around that I couldn't find. And now, maybe, I would be able to see that pill so that one of my toddlers didn't find it. I was very excited about the watermelon seed, and I said, you need to put that on the blog. And she goes, well, do you think it was just an accident? No! <laughs> she could, it would not have happened that way before. But like she said, everything is brighter. She sees colors brighter. She can see the colors on the cards from a distance. She's, she's cheated her way through life. She's, she's done awesome with what she's had. But this is real. It's interesting, I, I, I read before I came, I read blogs and talked to other patients and they said, it's just not all that easy to recognize all the changes. And I, I really have to say, I thought, I don't understand that. <laughs> um, but it's true, it isn't always easy to recognize the changes. Um, I guess it's sort of like when someone goes to the eye doctor and they say, well, you really need glasses. And they say, gosh, I didn't even realize. Um, I, it's just the reverse effect. But I do think that leaving home 35 days ago and then going home back into my regular routine and normal environment, I think, I think that's when I, I will probably notice. To come here for 35 days, you have your days that you think, hmm, let's see, maybe I don't want to do this another day. But you can, and you will, and it gets easier. And you know, it's very, very doable. And we have people here from all over the world, and people come together. We are all so exactly the same. <laughs> if everybody can just accept that, we just, we might do things a little different in our day-to-day -day life, but our minds, our souls, and our bodies, we all think and do everything exactly alike. And we're all looking for the same thing. <laughs>